Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Mack. Hello, Americans! And esteemed foreigners visiting our bountiful lands. Hello, I'm unsung comedy legend Robert Mack from robertmack.com. And thank you, and being here tonight where I went to high school in a packed theater is a real treat for all of you because <laughs> this is my 22nd comedy anniversary. Thank you, can you believe it? Yes. I've been doing this for 20 seconds. 30, look at that, it's great. It's nice to be able uh, to perform again and accidentally spit on people. Sorry, front row, don't worry, I've got all my shots, so you will not catch my rubella. It is weird though to, to be doing this again. I'm uh, very aware that I don't have a mask and everyone is staring at my face and it's freaking me out a little bit but I want to remind everybody, I also have a body, all right? Eyes down here, okay? <laughs> I don't like masks, I've never liked masks. I will always associate them with people who want to take all my money. <laughs> like a bank robber or my doctor. <laughs> Charles Darwin once told me, he said, Human beings need to connect. We're hardwired to connect to each other. And it's true, I saw a neighbor in my building that I hadn't seen in months, and I wanted to connect, so I went in to shake, and I don't know if that's cool or not, so then I thought I would do a fist bump, and I don't know where that is either. So I ended up just doing that, and that's where things are these days. It, yeah, scissors beats rock and paper. I'm just glad that we don't have to quarantine again. I think if that were to happen, the murder rate would go through the roof because for two years, we've been collecting gloves and masks and industrial cleaners. That's a serial killer starter kit. Add an annoying roommate and you've got a future murder scene on your hands and podcast. 